There is one thing stronger than all the armies in the world put together, and that is an idea whose time has come. Adia perhaps is the most dangerous and most powerful of all the weapons. Hello and a very warm welcome viewers. You're watching the special presentation of Sunset TV on the journey of startups. India has the third largest startup ecosystem in the world. And if you're an aspiring entrepreneur or even otherwise, this is your destination as we script the success stories of startups, analyze the roadblocks and give wings to your dreams of becoming a job giver and not being a job seeker. So today, let's hear the story of fintech startup, Basic Home Loan and its founder, Atul Munga. The adoption of new technologies has changed everything in our lives. From ordering food, to booking a cab, to banking. However, from a borrower's perspective, the home loan process remains the most time-consuming and tedious job, requiring them to be physically present at the bank branch. With 5,000 agents in 650 districts, Basic Loan Home Startup is trying to change that by reaching out to more than 20,000 families. The startup aims to empower consumers with technology, simplify the process of home buying and bringing financial stability to the lives of families in India. Their mission is to digitize the home loan process for all and increase affordable loan penetration for mid- and low-income households in India through a digital model. So Atul, welcome to Sansa TV and thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, thanks for having me here. So I was going through your profile, uh, IIT Delhi, then Hong Kong, Singapore, back to India, working in corporate sector and then taking that leap of faith. So tell me, how did this journey begin for you as a startup uh, owner? See, uh, during my college only, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I come from a business class family. So, and, uh, you know, starting up is not a taboo. In my family, my brother has been, a, uh, you know, has been an entrepreneur. My cousin has been an entrepreneur. They have been, they, they have got successful exits. So, uh, I started my career as an investment banker, but always wanted to come back to India. In fact, in 2012, I started something in local services space. Unfortunately, I was not able to do well there. So, go, you know, I went back to my corporate job. But uh, uh, in 2015-16, I, I thought that, you know, uh, India is booming. I mean, as in the startup ecosystem is booming. So, I wanted to be part of that. So, came back to India. And this time, instead of just starting out myself, I started working in other startups. There, I learned a lot. And while, you know, uh, working in these startups, I realized I, I was working in the fintech space. I always worked in the financial services space uh, in my corporate career also. So, uh, in, while working in a fintech startup, I realized that in India, most of the innovation in lending has happened around unsecured loans, which is personal loan or business loan. But the most basic loan for anyone is uh, is a home loan, means roti kapra or magan, uh, means that's basic for everyone. So not too much innovation has been done. And then, uh, especially on the affordable housing side, but if you see our government, uh, Mr. Modi, means they, he's promoting a lot into affordable housing, Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, housing for all, a lot of things are coming up. So I thought it's a booming sector and uh, if some tech solution can be built around it, then they can be a good company or even a successful startup can be built. So that's how, you know, uh, while working, uh, I was working on this idea and then in 2020, he just took the, that, you know, leap of faith and started BASIC. Uh, so why BASIC uh, Home Loan? I mean, how did you think of that name particularly? So I just, I just now told you, you know, that one of the most basic loan for anyone or basic necessity for anyone is housing or home loan and uh, so that was one of the reasons and secondly you know uh, my customer we are catering to mostly low income groups so uh, i'm not sure whether everyone will be uh, in the english speaking population or not but basic is a word which everyone speaks means in our normal conversations also we say that basically it is like this basic ye ho raha hai. So we thought that it's a name which people can remember so let's you know start the company with that name Okay, so basically, aap ye bataiye ki business model kaise socha aapne. How did you think? Because of course, I understand that you had the experience. Yeah. But actually, having your own company after that corporate experience, how did you think of that business model? Okay. See, uh, the the idea was to digitize home loans. 
and in india uh, complete digitization of a mortgage or a home loan cannot be is not possible basically the reason is we don't have a centralized database of properties so i can evaluate a person as in his cash flow or his income to that how much loan i can give but the evaluation of the asset or the property needs to be done offline so we come up with this digital approach where uh, we our model is like this that till sanction the complete journey of the customer is online we can provide any customer sanction from you know by checking their uh, eligibility across 50 banks instantly or maybe in 24 hours 48 hours to the max and then we have a network of agents these agents work like freelancers with us and they assist the customer in end to end fulfillment so it's not like we are just selling leads to bank or we are just a lead generator platform we are more like end to end fulfillment kind of platform so we will not leave our customer in between we'll suggest the product and then we'll do end to end fulfillment and uh, we are paid by banks so we don't charge anything to our customers so people in low income group economically weaker sections they have benefit of you know coming to us because we'll you know definitely uh, get them a home loan through our platform all right so this particularly interests me because it is just not for the startups but also for uh, the people as you said the lower middle income than otherwise weaker sections so if somebody was to approach you yeah what happens then how do you uh, turn back and how do you help okay so uh, when a customer come to my platform we assign them a agent agent go and sit with the customer there in their house uh, and again uh, there was a you know thought process behind it that mortgage i believe is one of the biggest liability you take in your life probably after your marriage that's the yes. biggest liability you have so you know you want to be sure about it so you know uh, i have worked in a fintech part startup earlier where you, we we have everything through a website we thought that mortgage people in mortgage people want some hand holding they need a face कि कल को कुछ हुआ तो मैं इसका गला पकड़ूंगा सो दैट्स वाई माई एजेंट गोज टू योर हाउस इन माई ऐप दे विल पुट योर प्रोफाइल योर प्रॉपर्टी प्रोफाइल एंड देन वी हैव बिल्ट अ टेक्नोलॉजी इट्स अ प्रोपराइटरी यू नो टेक वी हैव बिल्ट इंटरनली वेर वी कैन यू नो क्वालिफाई यू अक्रॉस फिफ्टी बैंक दैट वॉट इज द राइट ऑफर टू यू सो वी डोंट शो यू अ पॉसिबल और अ प्रोबेबल ऑफर वी एक्चुअली यू नो रन यू थ्रू द क्रेडिट पॉलिसीज ऑफ दिस फिफ्टी बैंक एंड देन शो दट ओके दिस इज द मैक्सिम लोन अमाउंट यू विल गेट दिस विल बी योर आर ओ आई दिस विल बी एल टी वी सो वंस द कस्टमर देन सिलेक्ट ओके आई वॉन्ट टू गो विद दिस बैंक बिकॉज अगेन इट्स अ मिसकनसेप्शन इन मार्केट दैट द लोएस्ट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट लोन इज द बेस्ट लोन If I tell you that you know, uh, I'll give you a loan where you just have to pay three thousand rupees more in EMI, but you can buy a three BHK, not a two BHK. Probably you can you know afford it. Or means I'm from Gurgaon, so you know if I tell you that in Gurgaon you will bet, get a loan, uh, you have to pay three thousand, four thousand rupees more in EMI, but you will get your house in a better locality where you, women's security is more. Will probably you know prefer that. So my agent advises that then you select the bank. then we have paperless login facilities with all the banks where we work so we apply paperlessly and you get sanction sitting at your home post which my agent will collect the documents give it to the bank for asset evaluation the property evaluation and then the final loan is disbursed into your account so for my customer it's a loan at home they don't have to go anywhere They're sitting at home they will get the home loan done all the leg work will be done by my agent all right that sounds interesting but tell me that element of trust Yeah, because uh, as you said, it is a fintech company, digital model. Yeah, how did you get that market validation? See, uh, we have been operational from past uh, two and a half years now, and uh, we have processed more than one point five billion dollar in uh, mortgages. That's so, massive. Uh, yeah, and we have disbursed more than you know three thousand, four thousand crores of loans. and so it means customers coming to us and giving us this kind of traction in just first two years of our existence uh, that that's a validation i'll say in itself and uh, plus you know we also we are probably one of the few fintechs in india uh, you know which gives guarantee of our job so we since we have built a in house engine where we match you across different banks and uh, my login to sanction, sanction ratio is more than 70% because it's actually built on the credit policies of the bank so we give this guarantee to our customer that if in two applications we are not able to get your home loan then you take it from somewhere else and we'll pay your first emi is it yes and till date we have not paid it for anyone because okay. in the second application we were able to do that so that, that that's something we do to build trust among our customers that will get you a home loan at the best possible you know rate or any kind of you know condition or terms you need so that you get a better house for yourself so how are you different from other fintech platforms who provide loans see most of the fintech platforms in india who are working in mortgages either they are lead generators or web aggregators which means that they you know just generate the leads and give it to different banks and now bank has to do the fulfillment now problem there comes is that when you start your mortgage or a home loan journey the first question you ask is which bank should i go to now when 
these lead aggregators or web aggregators they give your lead to multiple banks all the banks start calling you and say i am best for you so your first problem is not even solved i tell you that uh, when my agent is sitting with the customer my agent will show the offers and then will suggest this is the right bank for you so i will not give your leads to multiple banks i'll suggest you the offer and then we'll apply on your behalf we'll do end to end fulfillment so that's how we differentiate ourselves okay so uh, talking about your journey back to your journey now so what were the biggest challenges see when you we, said that family was supportive because yeah, it was yeah, a business the, family yeah. but otherwise what were the challenges see the biggest problem in india is that you know uh, when you start something in fintech especially with the banks uh, it's very difficult to convince banks to use a particular technology exactly exactly yeah so and again i'll not say that banks are to be blamed where the reason is it's a big problem for them uh, the change management is a big problem for them because they have multiple branches they are you know present in multiple city states so to change everywhere it, it's a big hassle for them so but i should not be saying this that i am you know minting out of someone's misery but it happened that in covid banks were more receptive to new technologies because yes. people were sitting at home and they wanted to do something new to you know continue with their business so covid helped us a lot uh, that you know when we presented our tech to bank uh, they were more receptive to it they were more eager to an order adopt it because at that time everything was stand still so that helped us a lot so that problem was you know solved at that time and now since they have started using technology or many banks have built their own technologies own apis own set of you know platforms so now this you know uh, you, you can say that ball has started rolling so it it has become easier for us so i'd like to understand the technology part of it also yeah. how did you convince banks during covid of course as you said that somebody's misery became your profit yeah i should not be saying that but it happened uh, so basically uh, when we started uh, no one was going to bank branch people were sitting at home so uh, see one of the problems in our sector or affordable housing loans is that if you see most of the affordable housing finance companies they have very high names as compared to traditional hfcs their npas are low yeah. but still they lend at 18% 15% yeah. high rates the reason is cost to income ratio the costs uh, are very high and their costs are high because they operate out of branches and uh, you know this branch led model has fixed cost in the uh, overall you know model you can say so uh, when we started we convinced that that we are working on a variable cost model so till sanction the journey of the customer is completely online so my costs are only technology cost and then the agent who works with me they are also like freelancer or gig workers uh, you know they are chartered accountants those kind of people financial advisors i pay them only on successful disbursement so Uh, so basically if you see in a mathematical form the equation of my business is that i'm converting the fixed cost of the branch into variable cost of technology and agent so i went to the bank and said that i don't need your access to your branches i just need a credit manager i'll bring everything to him through technology through api i will send all my applications to him he just have to give me sanction and then documentation everything i'll i'll bypass your branch infra and give it to your credit manager so what will happen is that you will not have to incur your branch cost on the application which i'm uh, you know bringing to you plus uh, the affordable housing segment or affordable homes is part of priority sector lending in india yes. and every bank wants it and most of the banks are not able to achieve their targets so they buy books from small hfcs at the end of the year at premium which is a risk to them because they are buying a book which is not lent according to their credit policy so so what we we suggested to them that using technology will you know reduce your branch cost on at least on the applications which we are doing plus will bring more psl to you so that's how it was easy for me in the beginning to convince them so that's a deadly combination of an engineer and a businessman of course yeah. but uh, going ahead talking about investment how did you convince your investors where did the initial investment come from so uh, here also uh, you know we got some lucky uh, we got some luck in the beginning so i was working in a company and i got a call from one of uh, a european vc who is one of our initial investors they they they, they were discussing a opportunity with me uh, in one of their portfolio companies they wanted to you know uh, give me a job offer but i didn't want to move out of india it was outside india i didn't want to move out because i came back from singapore to india because I, to be part of indian startup ecosystem but you know salesman in me means i just you know pitched them this idea on the call and uh, you know i think my stars were in <laughs> good condition at that time they liked it and they funded my paperless idea this idea on paper so we got our first check of 500k and that's how we started and then last year we raised our series a round uh, from uh, some you know tier a investors in india and now you know it's been 2 years working on the same thing all right so we also spoke to your investors let's see what they have to say sure i'm oli i'm a partner at pickus capital and we were the first investor into basic home loans 
back when we were leading their pre-seed round in 2020. We're looking into the mortgage market from a global perspective and quickly realized that in India, the mortgage penetration rate was much, much lower than in other economies. When we got into discussions with our tool in Kalyan about the mortgage sector more broadly in India, they told us how they wanted to change particularly the affordable housing sector and making affordable housing and mortgages more accessible, especially for the EWS and LIG income segments. Back when we invested into basic home loans, there was not much more than two entrepreneurs, very talented, and we see a lot of talented people in India with a bold vision to change the mortgage market in India forever. We are more than impressed now, two years later, with how quickly they build up a, a team, how much adoption the product actually finds and how they really have an impact on people's life, not just in tier one and tier two, but also in tier three and four cities. We are super excited to continue being an investor in basic home loans and working together with Atul and Kalyan and the whole team to make sure the affordable housing segment is getting more and more accessible and more attractive and people can get into their first homes. We're super excited about BASIC given the premise of what uh, BASIC is doing for the impact housing and the housing ecosystem. The housing home loan ecosystem has not seen a lot of innovation in the last a decade, decade and a half. And in the last one or two years, we've seen new companies like BASIC come and try to disrupt that through a digital process. The team at BASIC, especially Atul and his core team, are actually very dedicated to solve and make it easy for consumers to find home loans also upgrade or, you know, uh, just bring down the cumbersome nature of a home loan process. I think BASIC is here to stay and is a much needed solution. And hence, at Gruhas, we are super excited to back uh, Atul and BASIC team, uh, disrupt this ecosystem. And we hope that they grow leaps and bounds. And uh, we are here to support them long term in their endeavor to do so. So, uh, how did you build this entire team, Atul? Because finding people in this particular aspect is a difficult task, particularly because there's technology and also there's finance. Yeah. See, uh, as I said, that since 2015, I was working in Indian fintech space. So, many of the people who started with me, so we were around 15 people who started together. So, I always say that we have 15 co-founders in the company. Okay. So, uh, so a lot of people, you know, came and started working with me. I'm very thankful to them. Means they even started with zero salaries. Some of them, you know, were not taking anything, any compensation from the company because, you know, we had just had 500k USD with us and we had to build a company. So, but now we are paying them. It's okay. Not <laughs> So, okay. uh, so uh, they were com compensated in terms of equity, in terms of other forms. Uh, so uh, we start. I started with them. Plus, you know, again coming back to that COVID thing. So a lot of companies were, you know, laying off people. Yeah. And at that time, uh, layoffs were not only because of performance. It was also because uh, you know the, what was going on in market. So we were able to attract some good talent uh, at uh, you know you can say. Be better salaries we don't have to give them hikes so in the beginning I was able to make the team like that means I was reading in newspapers that this company is laying off 300 employees 500 employees so we used to reach out to their HR that we are starting a new company if anyone is you know interested at this level to join us so we got some initial members through that also okay fantastic so I also spoke to your uh, team members let's see what they have to say Aaj basic home ko start away do sal ka samay ho gaya hai aur main pehle din se basic ke saath hoon अतुल ने जब मुझे इस आइडिया के बारे में 2020 में बताया था मैंने तुरंत हाँ कर दी थी और काम स्टार्ट किया हमने एक मोबाइल ऐप लॉन्च किया बेसिक होम लोन एजेंट जिसके थ्रू कोई भी एजेंट हमारे साथ ऑनबोर्ड हो सकता है हम 50 से ज़्यादा बैंक और एन के उसको बिजनेस करने के लिए अपॉर्चुनिटी देते हैं और उसको मार्केट में बेस्ट पे आउट देते हैं आज हमारे साथ छः से ज़्यादा एजेंट का नेटवर्क हो चुका है इतना ही नहीं हम उनको ग्रूम करने के लिए ट्रेनिंग भी देते हैं और उस ट्रेनिंग में उसकी पर्सनल स्किल्स उसकी कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स ईमेल एटिकेट और बहुत सारे टॉपिक पर हम उसको ट्रेनिंग देते हैं उसकी इनकम को बढ़ाने के लिए हम उसको पैन इंडिया बिजनेस करने के लिए एक अपॉर्चुनिटी भी देते हैं हम उसको इंट्रैक्ट करने के लिए एजेंट को एवरी फ्राइडे 
एक पैन इंडिया पे हडल करते हैं एजेंट्स के साथ जिसमें उसको कोई भी फीडबैक सजेशन या उसको अगर कोई प्रॉब्लम है तो हम उसका सोल्यूशन भी उसको देते हैं हम उसको इतना ही नहीं साथ साथ हम उसको पूरा स्टेप बाय स्टेप ट्रैकिंग हमारी मोबाइल ऐप जो बेसिक होमलोन एजेंट के नाम से है उसके थ्रू वो ट्रैक कर सकता है अपना और फुली ट्रांसपेरेंसी उसको उस मोबाइल ऐप पे मिल जाता है हम क्योंकि मार्केट में टर्मिनोलॉजी यूज हो रही है एजेंट तो इसलिए हम उसको बेसिक एजेंट बोलते हैं अदरवाइज दे आर अवर पार्टनर एंड पार्ट ऑफ बेसिक फैमिली थैंक यू आई जॉइन बेसिक इन जनवरी ट्वेंटी and we were a team of 50 people now we are 200 people strong at basic we have focused on uh, having a team which is strong and passionate about the work we do uh, we are very working very hard in line with the vision of the company to make home loans faster simpler accessible to all especially the tier 2 tier 3 cities and the affordable segment at basic uh, customer service is our topmost priority customer feedback we take it very seriously so each customer feedback it gives us a opportunity a chance to do better and to innovate more products so for us happy customer means happy business all right uh, atul now tell me the current valuation of course as we speak is close to 100 cr what That are the growth projections see last round we raised uh, which was in september last year 2021 the at that time it was 100 crores now in terms of traction we have grown 6 to 7 times so uh, next round will be definitely at a better valuation not at 100 crores uh, in 5 years uh, we want to be the not even 5 year in fact by march we want to be the largest distributor of mortgages in india uh, currently we are doing close to 300 crores of loans on a monthly basis by march we are aiming to do 1000 crores and uh, will be the largest distributor and in next 5 years means that must have not been planned okay. but after march definitely will try to enter some new streams uh, it can be uh, you know we might lend through our own book or maybe uh, some other things but uh, will definitely have some new businesses also or allied businesses working uh, uh, or started in basic along with the, just the plain uh, origination and lending part all right atul before we wrap up this conversation tell me what is your message to other budding entrepreneurs generally in the startup ecosystem and particularly in your sector i'll say that if you are experienced just do it means uh, today uh, in india we don't have any dearth of capital we don't have any you know problem in uh, getting good talent to start uh, uh, and again those who want to build some experience i'll say uh, just go work for a startup good startups uh, and uh, you will learn a lot uh, personally i have learned a lot working in indian startup ecosystem for the first 5 years I personally learned a lot from my mentors, from my seniors, and uh, now it has helped me a lot in running the company. And if you have a good idea, just you know try it out. Means uh, in India we have so many problems, and you know you start with the idea, you never know where it will go, where yeah. you pivot. But uh, just keep on going, and uh, something will definitely good happen to you. Absolutely. So perseverance is the key. Yeah, don't think too much. But uh, you have to have plans in place. See, I told you know, in my journey there have been two, three good, favorable, you know, lucky uh, instances which helped us a lot. So you know, fortune favors the brave. Just yes. go out and uh, you know start working on your own. People will support you. And you know, in the beginning you are confused that whether I'll be able to do it or not. If you have ten problems in your mind, start with the first problem, and probably you'll get someone who will solve the second problem. So start building the team, and eventually you will overcome that ten problems together. All right so as you said that fortune favors the brave on that note on that positive and optimistic note thank you so much for joining us Atul and all thanks. the very best for all your future endeavors thank you Well viewers that's all we have for you in this edition thanks for watching and stay tuned to Sunset TV goodbye for now